Hello and welcome to um, a mass video on finding or writing numbers um, as a product of prime factors. Now all that this phrase here means, it just means finding the combination of prime numbers that will multiply together to make um, the number that I began with. Um, now the place to start here is by drawing um, what we call a factor tree. So we write out the number 30 to begin with. Um, and the first question that I want to ask of myself is what two numbers could I multiply together to give me an answer of 30? So lots of ways that I could do this. I could do say 3 times 10 or 5 times 6. Um, it doesn't really matter which way you go about doing it because your, your final answer will still be the same thing. Um, we'll say 30, we'll say that's 3 times 10. So 3 times 10 gives me 30. Um, now if I get a prime number all I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle it. So there, 3 times 10, 3 is a prime number, so I've circled it. Now how can I make 10? How can I make 10? Well, I can make 10 by doing 2 multiplied by 5. Again, I've reached um, 2 prime numbers here. Um, 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. So um, what I'm left with is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Um, as soon as you get to a prime number, circle it, then um, close that avenue off. You can't carry on doing it because the only way that you can make 3 is by, make it, is by doing 3 times by 1. Um, so what I could say is that 30 written as a product of prime um, factors is 2 times 3 times 5. So what prime numbers can I multiply together to make 30? I can multiply 2, 3 and 5 together. I can check that my answer is correct by um, actually doing this sum. If I just do this very quickly, it should give me an answer of 30. So 2 times by 3 gives me 6, uh, multiplied by 5 gives me 30. Um, next one, write 84 as a product of prime factors. So if I write out the number 84, then what two numbers can multiply together to make 84? Um, so I could start off by saying that um, 42 times 2 um, gives me 84. Then, um, so 2 is a prime number. Then, how can I make 42 by multiplying two numbers together? Again, I could just say it's 21 times by 2. I could have also said it was 6 times 7. Again, it doesn't matter what way around you go about doing this, um, your final answer will be the same, whichever route you choose to take. Then lastly, how can I make, multiply 21 by multiplying two numbers together? Um, and I could say that's 3 multiplied by 7. Again, both of these are prime numbers, so I'm going to circle them. Now, um, what I could say here then is my answer is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Um, quick check to see if that is actually correct, and that is the correct answer. Um, I can just again do what I did last time and, and do this calculation. Now if you um, have got quite a long um, version of this it's easier to start with the bigger numbers first. So if I start by doing 7 times by 3 that gives me 21, times by 2 gives me 42, times by 2 gives me 84 and you can see here that's essentially the same route as we took there. Um, there is another way that we could write this, we could also um, kind of tidy this up a little bit by saying that okay well 2 times 2 that's the same as 2 squared times by 3 and times by 7 um, and that's about it